right. Oh. This is literally bananas. This with two motors would literally kill me. That's insane. That is insane. I 
want to get 500, 500 with pump gas. Ah! <laughs> yeah. 497. Oh yeah. That this is pump gas still. So E85 is gonna be another hundred. We'll see. So we're just at about 30 pounds of boost now. 500, let's go! guys pump gas we're gonna see 600 Here, 523. And, it, and it stopped half of the run because I had my boost cut so I up the boost cut and we're gonna go again see if I can do a clean pull here yeah. 466 torque that's stupid let it cool down and then it'll do a glory of four, it'll do 550 on pump the turbo's got more it just wants to keep going right. yeah this will be 550 550 Okay, this is scary. guys this is gonna make some more power so I'm gonna turn the boost down a bit we were at 36 psi so at 30 psi ish it should make the same power if not more so I'll turn it down see what happens you'd rather have that uh, just see what happens rather than a big mistake and making too much power and breaking it so this thing's gonna this thing might put 600 horsepower down that is insane between two motors already with this exact setup that I do have that's a thousand all-wheel horsepower with the Suicide Dynamics 3 all-wheel drive, right? So this is exactly the goal I wanted and uh, I'm actually meeting it and I'm surpassing it. So that's pretty sick. So this is the first pull with E85. I was running 77% duty cycle to make that 530. So that's the boost. So now I'm gonna take it down to 60 and see where we're at. Because this is the 85, it'll make more power. So I'm starting from a different type of thing, right? I'll add two more degrees and see what happens. And if it goes up more, we'll see. Thanks, this is gonna be good. Now I've turned up the boost. See 
didn't even hit 20 PSI, babe. I'm gonna turn up the boost. Actually, you know what? I'll add a little bit more timing, and if it makes more power, we'll see what happens. Less power, baby. <laughs> 
Less power. <laughs> Less power, baby. Let's see if I can get some more power with the same boost, but just adding timing. I do think it wants more timing. Because every time I give it to it, it's taking it. And it's running clean. I was not expecting it. just went from 620. Unreal, eh? I didn't know it. It didn't sound any different. It was just... Bleh. I could feel. Yeah. Good, good. Little purple car. Oh, wow, this thing's fucking red. Okay, I'm gonna add some duty. You can get like 650. That'd be pretty cool. What?
baby steps. So, baby steps. That says don't blow it up. Every one is over 500 foot pounds of torque. Stupid. Okay, we'll just do a final run and then it's done. I, I went backwards, we'll make sure everything's the same and we'll be done. No misfiring crap, nothing like that. The, the catch can is empty. <sighs> 43 runs, I think, so. Wow. Yeah, it was awesome. Done. I, I think this, this car will easily do a 10 with uh, the power it has. So this is literally an eBay clutch um, for a Toyota Camry. It, and it held almost 700 horsepower. No problems, not one problem at all. Pretty wild. <laughs> Once it hit 600, you went out of control. It was like pull after pull after pull after pull after pull. Yeah, we didn't even let it cool down. No. I was just bang, bang, yeah. bang. I was just yep. fine tuning it. I'm like, yep. I, we need to get close to 700 at this point. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was insane. <laughs> I'm really happy. Really happy, 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 happy. happy. Is that a good height? Yeah. Go, go over here. And then we can go right up to it, right? Oh yeah, no, that's great. Perfect. So here's 533. This is our best pump fuel run that we made. And our best pump fuel run last year was 399. 
So we gained 133 horsepower just on pump fuel, and that's a reliable setup. And that's pretty awesome because then you can save some money by not running E85. And this year, our best run ever, 672.24 was our max. And that was on E85, obviously. And our peak at E85 last year was 460. So we've gained over 210 horsepower from last year to this year. So she's making a serious amount of power now. It's like, it's literally gonna be scary because I haven't felt that. So when I was on the street, I was about probably 450 on pump. And once I tuned it up, it, I got to 533, right? So I'm really excited about that feeling that just on pump fuel, but like literally E85 is gonna be terrifying. So I got the tranny for it, I got the axles for it and I've got the fuel, so there's only one thing to do is to try it, and we'll see what happens. So here's the graph, so you can see major differences. Fat power bands, like you can see she noses over a bit, cause like it peaks and then the duty cycle kind of went down, but it, this is a fat power band. So from basically like 3,500 RPM to 7,500 RPM is full, the whole power. Torque was 542. So that's pretty nuts as well. So best was 672 horsepower and then 542 torque. Unbelievable. So Des pulled up all these runs and these are all 600 plus. All of them are over 650. Mm -hmm. All over 650 horsepower. This isn't just like a one-time thing. She's freaking mean. So it like, it'll do it every time over 650, like easy. It doesn't matter if I take out like two degrees, mm -hmm. like it was still mm -hmm. making 650 plus. That's scary. That is literally gonna be an extra 200 horse I've never felt before with one motor. So it's gonna be gnarly. What a mean machine. I need to put the body panels back on, but she sits at 700 horsepower. Unbelievable. If I took this, this filter off, it would have made more power. Right now I'm taking the battery out of the Suicide MX-3 because the truck battery died on the way. We were literally on the side of the road. So I've had to swap like batteries like four or five times today because I brought a spare for the truck. But anyways, I'm literally pulling out the battery. Okay. change his battery again, which I have to again today to get the MX-3 out. How many battery swaps is that? Like 12. 